back to Sunrise Daily. Welcome to you live from Port Harcourt, where the Energy, Environment, and Investment Forum is holding today. And the theme for that is uh, Sustainable Energy, the key to Africa's world integration. We're joined now by uh, Mr. Wogu Bombs, who is the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice here in River State. Morning and thank you for coming thank you, today. Thank you. Good morning. Well, it's interesting. This uh, Energy, Environment, and Investment Forum, right? give us a background. What is the focus now? Why this summit and this forum? Uh, the, the, the theme or the topic says the focus. It's on environment, it's on sustainable energy, and investment there too. Uh, we had uh, about a month ago an international conference here on, on, on uh, democracy, on election, on party politics and stuff like that. Government is not all about elections or about uh, succession, about politics. Government is equally also about the environment, about renewable energy. These are matters that also affect our citizenry. But because of, the nat because of, the, of, uh, of, uh, of our nature, how we are, we intend to then play these things in favor of regularly discussing democracy, who wins and who loses. So uh, government, universal government also understands that our people have to be interested keenly as equally as they are in those other matters on the environment and on energy. That is why we decided to put together the program. You have three dicey issues here. Yes. You're looking at energy, you're looking at environment. Yes, I mean, and investment. Right. And investment, yes, of course. Yes, yes. Uh, but, you know, the two areas I've decided to focus on, on energy and environment, you yes. know that we do have a peculiar situation on our yes, hands. Yes, when we talk yes. about energy, everybody's mind goes to power. And the fact that, first of all, you're also in the Niger Delta, one of the uh, bases of the nation's revenue source in terms of, you know, what we sell, what we market, oil, petroleum. And the environment, you've also been in the eye of the storm when it comes to environmental pollution, big oil companies, you know, doing business here, the environment also get polluted. These two issues, uh, minus the investment now, I mean, sometimes investment comes with these two, and they don't quite go together or they bring about these issues. How do you hope to, you know, what exactly do you hope to achieve? Are you just hoping to bring the issues to the fore or what exactly are you there thinking is, this there will is, achieve? There is, there is clearly a linkage mm -hmm. between energy and environment. If you are talking about energy to mean only power, fine, but there are various sources of power. When you talk about when you talk about when you talk about energy, well, we, we, there are various forms of energy. I'm sure you're aware. And as you've rightly pointed out in the narrator, we have we have issues concerning these matters of energy, of of uh, of uh, environmental degradation and stuff like that. And no matter how you look at it, whether in in area of degradation or whatever, there are investment opportunities in those matters. I I when you, when we start the session, you you will see. There are countries with regular volcanic eruption, for instance. As destructive as they are, they are also usable as thermal energy. So when, when it appears that there is no linkage, there is indeed as much linkage in it as it is that something happens, as somebody will say, there is architecture in ruins. Something happens that looks to be wrong, that looks to be bad. There's an investment in it. So we are focusing on the fact that there may be regular diversification from our environment arising from energy matters. There are still things to profit from them. And in fact, if all of us focus on it, we will see the good side that will enable us to have some respect in how these things are extracted, how these things are exploited, and how these things are used. What exactly are you hoping to achieve? I think that's my question. Some, some, some consciousness in our people that we all have a stake in these matters, which we have left to oil companies, which we have left to only experts. I'm a lawyer. I have interest in these matters because they have been talked about. Talk about renewability of energy, talk about sustainability of energy, and we'll talk about environmental degradation. So I'm, I, we should be interested. You should be interested. Everybody should be interested. So what you are looking at, that everybody should know. We have youth forum. We have the women forum. All of us. The same way we shout uh, politics, election, we come out. We should also come out and discuss these matters that affect us on a daily basis. Is it, that, is, that is our focus. And, and the investment opportunities that may be derivable therefrom. Is it going to be another talk show? Well, it will depend. You know, it's it just like I ask you here. You, or you are around uh, morning rise, every now and again, as they talk shop. It's having an effect somewhere. People are listening. People are responding. People are reacting in ways that you can never even imagine. 
So talk shop, yes, but with some effect on how people, it alters how people reason on the matter. We didn't hear other persons share information, share experiences on such matters. So you know, for you, I, I'm wondering because part of the points that they have made, uh, I hope they can still see us. Okay. Uh, Okay. okay, well, his partner, so that's part of the energy. <laughs> yeah. They're reminding us that, look, <laughs> you guys are talking to energy, we're also here. But, you know, speaking about this, because part of the comments they made, and then you, you want to create this awareness, investment opportunities yeah. abound there, as you say. Yes, yes, yes. But, you know, there are those who will say, look, these investment opportunities are dependent, in fact, some say largely predicated on awareness of what people are talking about or doing or how amenable they are to this because take for instance recycling recycling products i mean i, I think some states i think lagos has something about recycling plants yeah. so i'm wondering do you take examples from that kind of scenario to know how will people respond I, to green going green or clean technology issues in this country it is my experience that whenever i talk to mainstream press or media like yours that I, I find that, with due respect, sometimes you don't know what's happening in some of our outside frontline states as in West That's what you need to tell yes. us. Yes. We have in this state a waste to waste facility. Yes. We also have a crushing facility where all the used uh, metal, uh, used vehicles are crushed and converted to other, other facilities. You can say when we, you know, when we go on the top. So we have these things here. What, what we are saying is that people are not aware, people don't even know that they have a role to play in the matter. People are not even conscious of it. So, which, which is where he was going yes. in terms of how responsive have the people of River State been in keen into these things that you have, but they don't seem to be aware of it. They are. Uh, let me tell you something. When we constructed the crushing factory in Kira, it could, it could grind a disused vehicle in a matter of minutes. The moment to begin to pick out those vehicles on the streets, they became scarce. People are aware. But the awareness should not be class restricted or industry restricted. People across the board should become keenly conscious of what happens in our environment and in those matters. So they are aware, but it's not as, as widespread as in political consciousness. Are you working with any statistics on this matter? The statistics, if in terms of measuring awareness, where do you well, go? Well, the fact that we now have to look for those vehicles regularly, before they were everywhere, now we search for them, is for me evidence of the awareness in that sector. The, the issue of renewable energy, yes. that when we talk about statistics here, renewable energy besides the oil, where are we, where are we going with that? Is that what, do we have what we can work I, with? I, I, I advocate that uh, some source of energy, are we on? Yes, go ahead. I advocate that some source of energy are cleaner, purer, more dependable than oil. Yes. Which, which we are not aware of. Fine. So we know that wind. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thermal solar energy. Power. Yes. Yeah. They are cleaner, they are purer, and they less degrade the environment. And do we power. have? Do we have there such plants here? You have such plants in River State. We, we, we don't have. That's why we're talking about investment opportunities. By the time people talk about them, those who never talk about them, those who have ideas on investment may begin to ask some questions. Would you say that the River State government had clear set goals that it wanted to achieve when it was talking about clean energy and the environment? I will say yes. Before I joined government, sometime in 2000, there was, there was a session held along this line. We have the Ministry of Environment having pioneering it. But you know, every great uh, uh, enterprise takes time for them to mature. We have. If you talk to the Commission of Environment, we will tell you, yes, we have. So ultimately, what do you expect at the end of the summit to achieve? That people will begin to think about these matters, as I say, the way they think about other popular matters. <laughs> like elections. Yes. <laughs> All right, one good bombs is the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice here in River State. And he talks to us today about the Energy Investment Forum holding today in Port Harcourt. Well, back in just a moment. Join us again. Thank you.